Hey Scorpio, this is your reading for May of 2022. I want to say welcome. I'm excited to be back on YouTube. I know I haven't been here for a few months. I've been over on TikTok having a lot of fun over there. So um, if you guys are on TikTok, come visit me over there. Hold on, I dropped the card. Ooh, beautiful cards coming out here. Okay. Um, if you don't know who I am, my name is Danielle Angenito. I am a psychic medium as well as an intuitive energy healer. And in this reading, you're going to get messages from spirit as well as the energy healing to go along with it. I have missed bringing that to you guys here on YouTube. So I'm excited to bring the energy healing back to you. Um, I will explain what that means a little bit later on. And I will be pulling some more cards through the energy healing. So you want to stay tuned to see what the last messages are for you for the month. All right, let's see what is going on. If you guys have been following me for a while, just say hi in the comments. Let me know that you're back and following me. I would appreciate if you do like and share this video so that YouTube can start pushing these videos out again since I haven't been on here in a while. Um, I would greatly appreciate your help with that. And plus, who doesn't need some energy healing? All right. So, Scorpio. All right, we've got, in the beginning of the month here, we have three of wands the four of pentacles, the nine of pentacles, and the sun. I'm just going to bring you through the message, and please remember these are general, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. This is about you looking towards the future and pushing through any trust blocks that you have, anything that you feel like you're not capable of, not good enough for, just kind of really just releasing that from your energy and knowing that you can do this on your own. And with the sun card, this is my healing card. I feel as though you've done a lot of healing on yourself. Some of you still have a little bit more to go, maybe a lot as well for some of you. But this is about, you know, nine of pentacles is my independent card. It's my single card. So you might, you know, might have gotten out of a relationship recently or just kind of like standing on your own is what I'm getting. So really this month, focus on your confidence and boost it because, we feel as though you don't look at yourself in the way that, you know, we see you. So, and we means angels and loved ones on the other side. And it's like the sun. It's like you bring this energy that you are unaware of to people. So when you walk into a room, the, the room lights up. And it's an energy that is attractive. And it's an energy that makes people curious. So they want to get to know you. So let go of these trust issues as though you can't be who you are or you can't come out. You know, a lot of people are coming out of the spiritual closet lately or coming out of any closet, I guess. But allow people to see you for who you really are because you've been hiding a part of yourself. You know, everything that here in these three wands is behind her. So allow yourself to kind of step into this new identity of yourself. Um, it's not even a new identity. It's just you. You've just been kind of like hiding yourself in order for people to accept you and like you. And there's no more of that is what I'm feeling here. So let go of any trust that you have around other people, but also yourself. And just let people love you for who you are because they're going to. And again, with this nine of pentacles, like you can do this on your own. You can be single and you can excel and you can you know, conquer. Um, so allow yourself to truly know that about yourself. Now in the, these beautiful cards here, in the middle of the month, we've got the two of pentacles, the emperor, the empress, and the two of cups. So again, you're balancing a lot of things, but you've got this, you've got this power inside of you that I feel as though you haven't even unleashed yet. You've been too focused on keeping yourself small but it's time to play big. And you've got this Empress card here. This is about taking care of yourself, loving yourself, nurturing yourself, and Two of Cups, connecting to somebody else, connecting to your higher self, connecting, um, just connecting is what I'm feeling. Could be connecting with friends, but really kind of, all right, what they're bringing to me with this card is feeling comfortable in connection. So allowing yourself to feel comfortable with who you are with, again, with being completely yourself. Allowing yourself to show up and be vulnerable and be silly and crazy and goofy um, and allow people to love that about you instead of hiding that about you. Okay, so comfortable in connection is what I'm getting with this card. The end of the month here, we have the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Ace of Cups, 
the Six of Wands, and the Knight of Swords. So again, we're moving slowly in this direction. But I think, you know, this Ace of Cups with this brand new beginning, the Six of Wands is about recognition, and the Knight of Swords is a little bit rocky. But let's stick with these cards for a moment. You can see that this Knight is moving towards this new beginning, which is a beautiful thing. Um, I love this. But it's a slow. It's a slow process. And I feel as though you kind of know that. It's like a butterfly emerging from its cocoon. Um, now, I haven't really seen this process, but I'm hoping that it goes this way. It's kind of what they're showing me. It's kind of like it takes a while. It's not just one day and they pop out of the cocoon. They've got to grow and kind of open the cocoon in order to get out. Now, that's kind of what they're showing me here is that it's a slow process of you emerging into this beautiful butterfly. So that's the Ace of Cups. And when you do, again, this recognition, the Sun card, really pulling to the Sun card, you are going to be seen in such a different light when you evolve into, nope, when you evolve and let go of the things that have been holding you and keeping you small. Okay, there's an energy that, this is the message, especially with this Knight of Swords. There is an energy inside of you waiting to come out and it has not been unleashed yet. And I am excited as hell <laughs> for when it does because when you, when you let this energy go and when you feel free to just be who you are, no matter what that is, crazy, not crazy, whatever it is, um, you're going to see such a change and it's not even the world around you that's going to change. It's just you're going to change and you're going to see things completely different. Now, this is kind of like a spiritual awakening, but this is on a deeper level. This is like an inner awakening. Like you're going to see who you really are and you're going to step into that and you're going to be proud of that and you're going to release that. Woo! I am loving that for you. Okay. Um, whew! Yes. So we are just going to kind of raise your energy here. Let me find a good song for this. Um, we definitely want to raise this and kind of keep you going in the way that is going to make you feel good about yourself. Okay, let me see. I think this is a good one. All right, so we're going to do energy work. So if you've never done this with me before, we are going to just listen to some music. You're going to close your eyes or keep them open if you like to see my dancing hands. Uh, a lot of people do like, like that. Uh, I am going to connect your energy with the universal energy. So our energy is the very thing that we are made of, and it holds our thoughts, feelings, and emotions. I've written a book about this because not a lot of people know about this. So I want to bring awareness to your energy because this is the one of the biggest pieces that we're missing when we go and try to help ourselves through therapy. Uh, that's just working on your mind, and we have to get our mind and our energy on the same page. This is what I do in my programs. So we are going to work with your energy to release this and really just magnify that and make it easier for you to step into this big game that you want to play, okay? And I don't even know if you know that you want to play that, but you, there's this part of you that it's coming. I just feel like it's coming. Whether you want it or not, you're going to be starting to step into this energy and really owning who you are. I will be pulling some more cards, so stay tuned for that. So go ahead and just relax a little bit. Close your eyes if you feel called to, and take a deep breath in. And let it out. And go ahead and just roll your neck. Cards are popping out for you already. <laughs> and take another deep breath in, if I didn't say that already, and go ahead and let that out. Okay, whatever thoughts come in, just let them come in and let them flow out. Here we go.
Take a deep breath in and let that out. And go ahead and take another deep breath in and let that out. Beautiful. Okay, go ahead and give me a thumbs up on the video if you enjoyed the energy healing. I would appreciate that just to know. And then the cards that came out here was the Strength card, the Hangman, the Three of Cups, and then finally the Nine of Swords. So here, again, you have the strength. You have it within you to show up the way that you want to show up um, powerfully, like really recognized. Um, you know, some of you might be starting a business with this, wanting to be like a social media influencer, wanting to spread your message. Um, you know, some of you might be trying to volunteer, do something like that, but like really show up in a powerful way. You've got this hangman, which is a change in perspective. So really allowing yourself to see that you are capable of playing big. And you've got this three of cups. So in, involve your friends, involve other people. Again, this is the connection card where we had here with the two of cups. Get comfortable with connecting with people and being vulnerable and allowing people to be vulnerable with you as well. And again, going back to trust, trusting yourself here in order to allow yourself to be who you really are, okay? This this lack of trust up here, letting that go. And you've got this nine of swords. And I feel like when you do this, you're gonna start to breathe differently is what I'm getting with this nine of swords. It's kind of like you're going, to, your body is going to like step into this new vibration and you're going to actually be able to feel that. So less anxiety, less depression, less stress, all of that, you're gonna be breathing differently. You're gonna be showing up differently, even in your body. You're gonna be losing weight um, because again, you're keeping, it's kind of like you're sabotaging yourself and keeping yourself small for these reasons. And it's like allowing yourself to break through all of that is gonna change not just your life, but also your body as well is what I'm getting. Okay, so I hope that resonates with you. Please go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And then I also do have my free three-day challenge to heal your childhood trauma. So if you do feel like some of this is from your childhood or stuff in the past that you need to release, um, you can go ahead and join me. We start May 9th. You can find the link in the description box below. I'll also put it in the comments too. Okay, so I'm sending you so much love. I loved this reading. I love doing this reading for you. And I love to feel this vibration of what you are about to step into. So good luck with it. And I will see you guys next month. Much love. Bye.